and sisters, so now I'm going to go over 50 signs of a no compromise Christian. So these are like um, like the fruit of a Christian. Um, so if you want to know if you're saved, then you can examine yourself by these. And you can Google this, 50 signs of a no compromise Christian, and you'll find the article. And they have tons of references, but they don't use the King James Bible. Um, I'm not going to go over the references. They give lots of references. Like some of these points have like 20 references. And I haven't even finished filling them all out here. But like I had to go on the side for some of them. But I'm thinking that pretty soon or in the future I'll go over each one of these points. And I will go over the references. Um, but for now I'm just going to quickly go over these 50 signs of a no compromise Christian. Okay, so these are things that you can judge yourself by and you can judge others by it as well so number one they do not conform to the things of this world their number one goal is to be like Jesus and some of these kind of might repeat the same idea but uh, okay so number two they love the Lord their God with all their heart soul mind and strength number three they are separating themselves from all ungodliness in the things of this world Number four, they are walking down the narrow road of God's holiness. They are God's holy remnant. Number five, they do not watch worldly, lustful, evil TV and movies, internet pornography, or computer games. Six, they do not look upon worldly magazines and books from celebrity magazines to pornography. Number seven, they do not compromise with the world by listening to worldly music, true worshipers. Number eight, they do not look up to worldly idols such as singers, movie stars, sports figures. Number nine, they do not partner up with unbelievers and those who compromise their, their walk with Jesus. Number ten, they pursue pure and godly friendships that inspire them to be more like Jesus. Number eleven, they display Christ-likeness in their thought life and attitudes, a beatitude attitude. Number twelve, they are humble and have childlike faith. Number 13, they refuse lukewarmness, having one foot in God's word and one foot in the world. Number 14, they seek to please the Lord through good deeds and having a servant's heart. Number 15, they know that financial gain does not mean godliness. Number 16, they seek first God's kingdom, not worldly wealth and possessions. Number 17, they'd rather suffer and be poor and not compromise with the world than be rich and famous. They are content. Number 18, they are generous and, and are givers whether they are poor or have much. Number 19, they are surrendering, surrendering all to follow Jesus. They are taking up their cross daily. Number 20, they have stopped practicing sin. And when they do sin, there is deep sorrow. Number 21, they speak out and warn people of God's coming judgments and preach the gospel. Number 22, they suffer persecution and beatings for standing up for Jesus. Number 23, they love and do good to fellow Christians. Number 24, they obey God's commandments, His Word, and the Lord Jesus Christ. Number 25, they are doers of the Word, not merely hearers. Faith without works is dead. Number 26, they fear the Lord and turn away from evil. Number 27, they do not seek the approval of man, but seek only to please the Lord. Number 28, they are not hypocrites, giving God mere lip service. Number 29, their words and speech are encouraging, edifying, and wise, not corrupt. Number 30, they pray fervent prayers and pray often with fellow believers. Number 31, they study and teach God's word and his ways to sinners and believers, making disciples. Number 32, they are winning their battle against sin and keeping the full armor of God on. Number 33, they are ready, waiting, and eager, eagerly anticipating the soon return of Jesus Christ. Number 34, they love God's commandments and His words, reading it daily and memorizing it. 35, they make use of every opportunity to do good preach, and preach the gospel. They are fire snatchers. Number 36, they produce much fruit for Jesus. They are productive with the gospel and are godly. Number 37, they are co-heirs with Christ and share the sufferings of Jesus by crucifying their flesh. Number 38, they understand God's eternal purposes for his holy people versus this temporal evil world. Number 39, they know they are merely passing through this world and their real home is with the Lord. Number 40, they do everything for the glory of God. 
Number 41, they do not believe false teachings in anything that is contrary to God's word. Number 42, they clearly understand the gospel and clearly preach God's word with boldness. Number 34, they let their light shine. Their face and life exudes Christ. Number 44, they put no confidence in their flesh. They are decreasing and Christ is increasing. Number 45, they have integrity, hard work, and pursue righteousness. They do not lie, steal, or cheat. Number 46, they are always very thankful to God for his kindness, provisions, protection, etc. Number 47, they are not full of selfish ambition, strife, quarreling, jealousy, but are peacemakers. Number 48, they acknowledge and obey God's will for their lives. Number 49, they are not prejudiced. They show no partiality to the rich, poor, skin color, race, etc. Number 50, they do not allow the cares and worries of this life to dominate their mind in conversations. So there we go, 50 signs of a coat. No compromise Christian. So there's lots of things, lots of ways to examine yourself. So thanks for watching. God bless. Except ye be converted and become as little children, ye shall not enter into the kingdom of heaven.